Good morning. Okay, I'm gonna do the morning writing lesson with you now. Okay, yesterday we wrote about a rainbow. Today we were, are writing about butterflies or a butterfly. Okay, so let's write about the butterfly. But first I'm gonna print my name on the top of the paper like this. Print your first name and the date. So today is Thursday, April 8, 2021. So I'm gonna write that for, I'm gonna make it a little higher so it's not on the line. Four dash eight dash 21, April 8, 2021. Okay, and we're writing about butterfly. The title of our page is butterfly. Okay. So let's trace the word butterfly, capital B. U. T. T. E. R. F. L. Y. Butterfly. And our first sentence, let's trace I, capital I, because it's the beginning of a sentence and the word I, C, S, B, E, I, C, the, T, H, E, I, C, the butterfly, insect, or monarch. Well, I will pick butterfly. Any of them are correct. It's a butterfly. A butterfly is an insect and a monarch is a type of butterfly. But we don't know what kind of butterfly this is. So I see the butterfly. Maybe a monarch, maybe it's something else. It, I, T, capital I, T, it has H, A, S, it has wings, antenna, an, or a body. Well, it has all of the above, all three. So it has wings, I'll say. Okay. The capital T, H, E, the, butterfly, B, U, T, T, E, R, F, L, Y. The butterfly is I S. The butterfly is flapping orange or flying. Well, I'm not sure. I guess. Let me see. What is the butterfly? It is orange. It is all circle orange. I wanted to color it something else, but I think I'll color it orange. I. Think T H I N K. I think it is beautiful, scary, or awesome. I think it is beautiful. I like butterflies. I think they're pretty. They're nice to look at. I don't think they're scary. Okay, so now I can complete the sentence. I see the butterfly. 
B-U-T-T-E-R-F-L-Y, period. It has wings, W-I-N-G-S, period. It, the butterfly is orange. They're not all orange, though. Some of them are different colors. You could color it whatever color you want. You don't have to color it. You could sit, circle flapping or flying. And I think it is beautiful. Okay. And if you have been in my class in the past year, you know that we usually do have butterflies. This year I would like to get butterflies, but I am waiting till May because that's when we're talking about life science and life cycles. So maybe hopefully in May, when we talk about life cycles, we also will have some butterflies to keep in our classroom. Okay. Okay, one moment. Okay. And here are a few facts. There's a lot of things to know about butterflies, but these are just a few things. Butterflies and moths are some of the most amazing creatures in nature. Did you know that there are over 180,000 different kinds and they can be found on every continent except the Antarctic because it's very, very cold in the Antarctic. I think it's too cold for butterflies. Okay, there's some amazing facts. So butterflies and moths are part of the same group of insects. It has a life cycle, which we'll go into more next month because we are going to be talking a lot about life cycles next month. Okay, they don't live very long. I didn't know that. So I did not know that all the butterflies we've had in the years past did not live very much longer after we set them free. Okay, and they come in different colors. So there's blue, they're orange. There's one that's mostly black and white, which is pretty cool. Okay, all different colors. That's just the book. I thought there might be some more pictures. Okay, let's see. Oh, here we go. So here's some more butterflies. They are known for their beautiful colors and unique patterns. So look at this butterfly up close. It's kind of a little bit like a light yellow, off-white and black. It's interesting. And it's a, it looks a little furry. Okay, they have antenna, six legs. The body has three parts, the head, the thorax, and the abdomen. Okay. Let's see, there's a caterpillar. That's what a butterfly is before it comes up, a caterpillar. Okay, so here are some more butterflies. There's a female butterfly and a male butterfly. That looks like a bee or a wasp. Oh, a frog. Okay, a bee and really pretty flowers. Okay, well. Okay. All right, sorry about that. I don't know how long I have been, I paused recording and I have not been recording, but I completed my butterfly journal page. Okay, we, we traced, we completed the sentence. Okay, the sentence is, I see the butterfly, it has wings, the butterfly is orange, and I think it is beautiful. Okay, and I colored my butterfly different. You can color it different colors, whatever color you like. I picked orange, and then I colored some of the patterns, different colors, okay? And now I'm gonna draw a butterfly the best to the best of my ability because drawing on the computer is a little more difficult.
Okay, so there's three sections to a butterfly's body that we just read in our facts. One section is the head, one is the abdomen, and one is the thorax. I'm not sure if this is the abdomen and this is the thorax. Okay, and then it has antennas. So I'm gonna draw the antenna. And it has wings on either side. And butterflies are symmetrical, which means that they look the, exactly the same on both sides. They are, if you draw a line down the middle of the butterfly, this side would look the same as this side. Okay. So I'm gonna try to make my wings symmetrical, but because I'm not very good at drawing, with this pen, it may not be exactly symmetrical. The wings don't look so good, but that is my butterfly. Okay, I'm gonna end the lesson now because I have to get ready for the next lesson. I will see you, hopefully I'll see you at nine for the morning meeting. Okay, I'll see you soon. Bye guys.